and then driving the ball to the perimeter. But it's over the middle is where accuracy gets difficult because it's so much about timing. The handoff to Hawkins. Hawkins can stroll in for a Cardinal touchdown. 20 yards on the run for Hawkins. It's his first rushing them, touchdown of the year. Yeah, it is. And it's just giving them, you got three guys in the backfield that can run, and I'm counting Malik Cunningham in that mix. Really four guys. And a simple off tackle, and all he needs is a little bit of space. Outflakes the defense. Do you know it's a water defense at the time? Can't jump yep. offside. They're going to run it up the middle. Louisville on the march. Hawkins cutting to the end zone and a touchdown. Which means the offensive linemen, they're going to move together to the left. But really the play is made by Marshawn Ford, the tight end fullback that's right here. Watch the block that he gets on Carlos Basham, the best defensive player for Wake Forest. Not only does he get him down, but he gets the linebacker down as well. And that is why Hawkins was able to make that little jump cut and find his way into the end zone. That is an outstanding block by Marshawn Ford. Xavier Kelly, the injured Tiger, taken off the field. And a handoff into the end zone goes J.B. and Hawkins. So it took until we had about five minutes to go in the game for Louisville to find the end zone, but they have gotten home with 5-10 to go. Hawkins, the score. But watch the shift of this offense. They move everybody over. This is a way you can create an unbalanced set to this side of the screen, and you gain an extra gap. You force the defense to play an extended front. Clock winding down, under three minutes. Louisville in no hurry to snap this ball. Hawkins again. Dancing his way into the second level. Inside the five, he'll score! Watch this block right here. They're able to cut block that backside three technique. And this play will start and the ball will just go right up there through the middle. But that cut block frees open that backside running lane. Absolutely stupendous block by Marshawn Ford. You just gave him credit where credit was due. Well, he gets credit again and leads Javion Hawkins into the end zone. But great job by that offensive line cutting the defense to create those vertical seams on that stretch play. Javion Hawkins. Yeah, not by a long shot. Gets another carry here as he trying to bounce it outside. Still on his feet. 30, 25, inside the 20. He'll score. Well, Javion Hawkins is going to take it around the right edge, but what I want you to watch as this play develops, remember where number 60 is. Senior Tyler Haycraft, he gets working up, gets one block on the right side of your screen. Don't worry, he'll come back in your screen after that spin move happens. Oh, he's all the way downfield. Pancake block on Andre Sisco, the preseason All-American safety. Dwayne Ledford, coach, he's an all oh my goodness, he's an offensive coordinator, O-line coach. It's interesting too, Kentucky snapping that ball stench on that fourth down with 18 seconds left on the play clock. Cunningham on the option to Hawkins. Hawkins in the UK territory and he turns on the afterburners. Inside the 20, Hawkins, touchdown! 56 yards! See the option pitch, Hawkins once again Nice bend back, comes all the way across the grain of the defense. It's a nice block downfield, and it's a foot race to the pylon, and he gets it. Look at the speed of this freshman. Not a big body, but he's a patient runner. Let's blocks be set up in front of him, and when he sees a crease, he hits it hard. Team's leading rusher last season. To the edge is Hawkins. And he will waltz in for another Louisville touchdown. Look, number 66 right there, he started at guard. 
He lined up at guard, the left guard lined up at center, then they all switch over to create an unbalanced set and add an extra guy to the left. And how about the idea, Cole, that it was a right-handed center at first, then you go to the loogie out of the bullpen with Robbie Bell shifting over and snapping with his left hand. That's not always easy for a quarterback. And